Um, yeah, I thought we were pretty competitive. I thought a lot of good things about what we did. Well, you always miss your best players, but that's that's the sport we play, and don't, we don't always have them. So, uh, but um, Troy didn't let us down, and um, as I said, I just pleased with our effort, and I don't think we're far off the money. So, do you think that was an improvement on what it showed in Brisbane? Ah, much big improvement. Yeah, much better, much better than we showed against Cronulla as well. Yeah, and these guys are back-to-back -back premiers and. World club champions and all that type of stuff. So they're a quality footy team, and they played quality football tonight. But I thought, you know, we weren't far off the money. What did you make of Latrell's performance against his old club? Well, you guys have worked that out. You've got all the opinions on him. I got a different opinion opinion of what most of you've got in the room here. So, do you see improvements in him? Have you seen improvements in him since round one at the back? Well, he got to play a full game tonight, so that's an improvement. I guess one, when you put him up against Tedesco, Tedesco is the best in the world, but it probably shows that there's a fair way to go for Oh, As I said, Paul, you all got your own, dis own opinions on Luttrell and I've got mine, so you guys write what you want to write. The fact that you, you kept him out there for 80 minutes at fullback, does that suggest that he's getting closer to the fitness, or he has got the fitness now you'd like him to have at number one? No, it doesn't necessarily mean that. What did you like about his game tonight, Well, I had another 16 players out there. You want to talk about any of them? Or? He's a big name player, though. Big position. Well, they got some big position. names. There's other big name players out there as well. So, well, Trell's one of 17 guys. So, um, you all saw his performance. And if you can't write about that, then I'm certainly not going to add, add to it. Did you think, Wayne, in the second half in particular, that the Roosters had built up a bit of a lead, that they showed a pretty good result? You're more yeah, well, as I said, I liked a lot of things that we did out there tonight, and I liked a lot of things that we showed out there tonight. So well, I'm not, you know, um, I think we've got something to build on. I think we are building on it. If we can continue on from where we left off here tonight and put the next five or six weeks together really good, then um, and I think we're capable of doing that. But we certainly showed some some good qualities. Um, you know, at the end of the day, if you if you want to be totally candid about our performance, we beat ourselves. I mean, we give up a couple of soft tries we just shouldn't have given up. We gave up a couple of penalties there late in the game when we had them on the rack down the other end of the field and they finished up scoring off that. Um, you know, they didn't do those things. They didn't give us any soft tries and they didn't give away any soft penalties. And that's the difference. And so we, we, we can be better, so. What did you think of the uh, one referee got Wayne in the 60-year-old chance? Yeah, it didn't worry me in the, in the least. Not really. I expected it. Um, the, a lot of these guys have interna in, repped a lot of international games where there's one referee, so it wasn't something that they weren't familiar with. And, you know, there's a different interpretation with regards to the penalty, so, but they handled it good, the Roosters, we handled it good, we all got on with it and it was handled pretty good last night, so. Oh, well, it puts a lot more pressure. You know, I think the key with it is the players are a lot more compliant. I think the referees are getting a better response to, the, to what they're trying to get on the field so they, can, so they can help us get a good game of football. And that's what I've noticed tonight here, and I noticed um, last night was the fact that I thought the players were more compliant with the rules because they know what the penalty is now, and it's a pretty heavy penalty to pay if, you, if you're going to um, continually infringe. And it's something you can't sustain as a team if, you, if you're going to give away, you know, and quite a number of those, there's just no way you can sustain that type of defensive effort. Yeah, you consistency of it out there tonight? Yeah, I thought he probably got away with a bit in the second half. I thought he went off a little bit. The referee did a little bit on it, but yeah, was overall, as he was, he's obviously trying to make a game of it as well, you know, and there was a game going on out there, so. Um, but yeah, it's first uh, first time for him, and uh, as the other referees coming this week, I think they handled it good, so. Yeah. Are you thinking you'll have James Roberts back next week, Wayne, or is that a wait to see? Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know. Just need to see a bit more of him trying and and that, so... Yeah, I'm not going to rush him back. I don't want him to come back and, and not play well and kind of fail at my doing for his confidence.